Ronda Rousey is not only one of the most important fighters of the past decade, she's one of the most important fighters in mixed martial arts history. Dana White was adamantly opposed to women competing in the UFC until those around her convinced her to take a shot based on the potential star power of one woman, Rousey. The gamble paid off and Rousey was an instant media darling. Rousey was awarded a UFC belt by virtue of coming to the organization as the reigning Strikeforce title holder, but she'd have to earn the right to keep it in her Octagon debut, with Liz Carmouche proving anything but a pushover, nearly spoiling Rousey's big moment while cranking away at her face before Rousey rebounded to win in the first round. Rousey's second UFC contest was a classic, with Misha Tate refusing to tap in bad position after bad position until the pressure was finally just too much. Afterward, Rousey's fiery disposition again came to the forefront, refusing to bury the hatchet with her chief rival. Future contenders didn't fare as well. Sarah McMahon, Alexis Davis, Kat Zingano, and Betch Kohea all lasted less than half of a round. Combined. Rousey's bad reputation walkouts, her scowl in the cage pre-fight, and her ability to finish fights with ease were drawing comparisons to the legendary Mike Tyson. Then it all came crashing down. In front of 56,000 people in Australia, the unthinkable happened. Holly Holm delivered a stunning high kick that sent Rousey crashing to the canvas. Rousey stayed out of the public eye for the next 13 months before she returned to action against Amanda Nunes at UFC 207, where the mantle of women's MMA flag bearer was clearly passed to the lioness. It would be the last time we'd see Rousey in a cage. It wasn't the most pleasant end to a fighting career, but it certainly didn't change what took place before it, and most women on the UFC roster today are happy to admit Rousey played a part in making it happen for them all. That's why Rousey is a must on the MMA junkie list for fighter of the decade, and she checks in at number 7.